In every relationship, there's the adoree and the adored. The man needs to be the adored and the woman needs to be the adoree. And the reason why is because women need more emotional stimuli in a relationship to be satisfied and happy. And the only way you're going to experience that emotional stimuli is if you're the person that's adoring the other individual. In every relationship, there's... Otherwise, she is going to treat you like a fan, my brother. What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Ron. Back with another video. If you're new to the platform, welcome to the tribe. By the end of this video, I hope you subscribe. Not waste any more time. Let's go ahead and jump into the next video. Do you want your man to lead you? Yes yeah, or no? Absolutely. Okay. Amber, do you want your man to lead you? Yes. Do you want your man to lead you? <laughs> yes. Okay. So you want the man to lead you, but then you also said that you want the man to like you more than you like him. How can he lead you if he's pedestalizing you? Therefore, you would be the leader, okay. right? Okay. So you got to think about that's it. Fine. None of you ladies really want a man that's thirsty or a man that he likes you more than you like him. Because those dudes, you disqualify. You got to think about it. Y'all all got options, right? Yeah, y'all got options. It can be truthful. Y'all got options. Y'all got y'all DMs. So since you have options, it's like you really want to be the adorer, the person that's adoring the man. Yeah. Because that's when you're at your most happiest. Right. If you're the adored, it doesn't okay. work. Because men that pedestalize women, those women punish those men. Those women disrespect them. They talk bad to them <laughs> out in Walmart. They don't get the best experience from their woman. So my point is that in order for the relationship to work and to thrive, the woman must like the man more, especially in today's day and age because women get so much free attention. Because if not, that dynamic doesn't work. Like right. that woman grows resentment for that man. You're going to feel like you could do better. Today's a lesson, I see. Yes, a lesson that needs to be taught to many men so that way they know which and which women not to deal with. Because honestly, in my opinion, I think women know this. I think they just want the best of both worlds and <laughs> i'm I, I i hate to break y'all bubble but that is just not gonna happen there is no way you're gonna get a man that leads you but likes you more than you like him it really really does not work but this is how i know this is true because the next clip is coming from a woman and she said something very very similar check this out and another thing real quick, I want to just give a quick shout out to Fugazi Podcast, David Cooley. He doing good work over there because I noticed a lot of the people that watch me when I was looking at the analytics the other day, apparently watch his podcast as well. So shout out to that brother. Let's keep it moving. Now, I don't know how to put this without this sounding ugly. However, fellas, you cannot love a woman more than she loves you. If you give a woman all the power in a relationship and you are a purposeful man, a businessman, you handle things and you're a real leader, there's a high probability that, that woman is going to throw, throw you off your game. You can think that I'm lying, but I see it happen all the time. When you are a purposeful man to say you run into business and this woman has all this power, you're going to start losing. And I don't mean that in an ugly way, but if that woman has all the power, I'm telling you, she's going to throw you off. She will damage you emotionally because you're going to be chase pleasing her emotions. And now I, I believe we need to be validated, validate our emotions. But I'm saying if you are chasing a woman's emotions, which is how we're made biologically, they never go away. You are going to be running. You're going down a rabbit hole and you'll never come back up. So if you don't handle your business and, and stand on some business as a man and and stay focused on what you need to focus on and let that woman love you as she was designed to do, you're going to fall off. You can be mad at me, but I see it happen all the time. You, baby, first of all, you don't have to listen to me. But what I'm telling you is I have watched great men love a woman so much. And maybe I won't even say that this is in every instance. Maybe they're just loving the wrong woman. But if you get caught up in trying to cater to our emotions too, too much, we can literally destroy you. And I, I watch I watch women do it. Some women do it intention, intentionally. Some women do it unintentionally because they're not aware of their feelings and they don't have a lot of emotional intelligence or emotional control. But if we as women don't understand that we have to get our emotions under control so, so a man can handle his business, if we have him constantly just chasing behind us all the time, how does that man stay on his on his purpose? 
the fact of the matter is you have to leave those type of women alone and get with someone who is emotionally intelligent or get her in therapy or something where she can learn to handle her emotions because you, you're just going to end up in a bad situation. I never got the point of happy wife, happy life. You hear it growing up and it conditions you to think as long as a woman is happy, all will be well. And then you grow up in a generation where women strive to do exactly that, make sure that they are happy above all else, including above their partner. To live by happy wife, happy life is selfish. To live by happy spouse, happy house is love. And now it confuses me to think why a woman would put her happiness above anybody else. When she asks for a leader, a provider, a protector all in one to be loyal and to serve according to her emotions and necessities it seems like a big responsibility to take on a wife it almost sounds like a child to be taken care of to be paid attention to to be coddled and loved and never wanting to seem like she's giving too much because then who are you to tell her anything to have enough sexual experience to please her in the bed but now you have to compete with all the men that have already left their mark in her and it's not just one and it's not just two and it's not just three and it doesn't stop there you have to look her type actor type and most of the time she wants a little bit of hood and a little bit of holy but if you act too holy you're seen as weak and if you act too hood it comes across as you're too aggressive she wants a man that will spoil her and treat her like a princess to be called queen but have no class when the words of her mouth are disrespectful as soon as it doesn't go her way but you must be patient and you must be graceful with her. And the irony of all that I say about this is that she wants to come as she is. It sounds like she's looking for the love of God in men. I don't believe this, but this is what the girls are saying, okay? This is what the girls are saying. They like the medium ugly guys because they supposedly treat you better because they're not full of themselves. A lot of girls don't go after the really good looking guys because they feel like it's too much competition there mm. he's getting his pick of the lot if there's a chris brown in the room and then there's like a funny marco <laughs> you would be surprised at how many girls uh -huh. will go for the funny marco because let's say they both got the same amount of money let's say money's not the difference right they will go off a, go off to the funny marco because they know for a fact like you know what he probably don't even get as many girls anyway so so to him i'm as good as it gets yeah, but what about that's personality? That's mentality. Yeah, that plays a part, but I'm saying most women, when it comes to looks, mm -hmm. stray that's away from the guys true. that the Chris Brown guys, a lot of women don't, they might have sex with you or might whatever, but they, they don't want to settle down with you because right. they know other women are going to like you. And they don't want to have to deal with that because you can choose. As a good looking man, you're tall, you look like Chris Brown, you're tall, right. you have money or whatever. The, women can't manipulate those type of guys <laughs> because they know they have their pick of the litter mm -hmm. and they know they can get the baddest girl in the room what, so they don't want to have to deal with that competition what if he's that chris brown looking guy and he don't know they'll pick you off of being funny this is camera on me they'll pick you off of being <laughs> funny like you don't have to look like for women we gotta look good because y'all ain't y'all don't say stuff like you like a medium ugly girl women have conversations like that we'd be like girl no i want the ugly guy i have a bro yeah but how, look, look, look. how many men they like the many, medium ugly guy how many men's games change uh, when the bear thing came hold on wait to be a star? he keeps asking why, why? okay why here and this just is not another perfect example of when i say when Women really want to be the man in the relationship. They want to wear the pants. They want to have control. That's why they always have these talks about, I want the medium ugly dude. For everything that she mentioned, because she is 1000% correct, but the real reason why is because they can get away with a lot more with those guys and they don't have to put in the same amount of effort because he isn't getting the same attention from other women the same way a really attractive guy would even if they both making the same money so yeah that's what that is let's keep it moving so i'm watching this conversation and this lady starts going on this rant and i just want to bring your attention because i don't think enough women recognize the words that they say and that your words have meaning and power and men are taking from your words they're not reading your mind so she says if she's not getting what she wants or what she needs in a relationship, she is starting to work on her exit strategy to get out. And she goes on to say, it does not matter what you say or what you do to fix things. And she might even make you feel or think that y'all are good. She may even tell you that you're good. 
but all the while, because there was a moment when she was unhappy or she didn't get what she felt she deserved or she was not getting the results that she wanted. At that moment, she decided mentally and emotionally she was going to leave you behind in the dust. Meanwhile, she's lying to your face and she's okay with it while she's looking for her next. And you mean to tell me, ladies, that you don't understand why men have a problem with the way that we move? The moment you decided you were out, that was the moment you should have left. By staying and stringing him along, you are literally doing the thing you said you're leaving to avoid. You are literally wasting time to avoid wasting time. Y'all got some, y'all, some of y'all really got to do better. And you got to start thinking about the words that you're saying because you're talking out of your behind. Now this, my my guys, is just another example of monkey branching. But don't let it fool you, cause I'm letting you know right now. This is exactly why they would rather have a man that likes them more than the other way around, because they can just easily detach from the situation due to the fact that now, thanks to social media, they got all the intention in the world and all the options in the world. It's like sometimes it makes me wonder if social media I mean we always talk about how damaging it has been to the dating culture but when women have so many options I can understand a little bit more why they tend to make the wrong one even though they know better like they know better but when you got that many options it's like <laughs> it, it's I forgot who it said who said this but I remember somebody saying something along the lines like women having too much choice is a problem and I think social media is proof of that but y'all let me know what y'all thought about this if you're new to the platform please subscribe OGs I appreciate the love and support make sure y'all hit that bell notification that way y'all know when I'm uploading hit the like button because it helps with the algorithm and helps me reach a broader audience also look out for the travel blog channel unplugged traveler link is in the description to the next video, y'all. Deuces. Thank mm -hmm. you.